Well, a heartbreaking update this evening as the state mourns yet another officer killed in the line of duty. Bibb County Deputy Brad Johnson passed away at 318 this afternoon after being taken off life support. Deputy Johnson was shot during a police chase yesterday. State and local officials call him a hero who continues to save lives after death by donating his organs. Johnson was a seven-year veteran with the Bibb County Sheriff's Office. He leaves behind a fiancé and two children. The other deputy who was shot was released from the hospital and is expected to make a full recovery. The man accused of killing Deputy Johnson and injuring another deputy is now in jail without bond. U.S. Marshals found him in the Briarfield area early this morning after a 16-hour manhunt. As we mentioned at the top of the show, Hall now faces three counts of capital murder. He's also facing several other charges, including attempted murder and assaulting a police officer. The suspect, Austin Hall, is a convicted felon with a lengthy criminal record of violent offenses. He was charged at least 40 times in the last nine years. He even tried to choke a corrections officer while in prison in 2020. And now the big question comes up, how was he out of jail? The Alabama Attorney General says they're closely looking at the policies that let Austin Hall walk free. Steve Marshall says, quote, the justice system failed these officers and I will do everything in my power to ensure that doesn't happen again, end quote.